Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of July 18th. Uh, this week, we're just going to jump right in here, Taurus, and we are going to see what is going on for you at this time, and that'll be that. Um, so, let's see here. Uh, you start off with the Five of Wands. Hmm. <laughs> I'm laughing because uh, this row is like needing to work together with with people even if you don't want to work together uh, with people. You have the Five of Wands, conflict and competition, and then you have the Three of Pentacles, which is kind of like needing to work together. So I kind of feel for some of you that maybe you don't want to work together with other people, like on a project or something along those lines, but there could be a lot of benefits there. This could also be in love as well. It's like you could be experiencing a conflict in relationships, but there could actually be a very solid relationship coming in for you. Look at this, lovers, two of cups, ten of cups, knight of, wand, knight of cups, I mean, showing up here. So very interesting. Uh, you start off with the five of wands. Five of wands card conflict and competition. I kind of feel that for some of you, you know, I know what this is. For some of you, I said this to another sign, I don't know, like last week or something like that. It might have been you, but um, I don't I don't think it was. I think it was someone else. But I was saying that it's almost like you could be entering into a competitive environment, but there is no competition. The example I use is YouTube. It's like maybe you're entering into YouTube, which is pretty competitive because, you know, there's like a lot of people on YouTube. So it's like you're competing with everyone else's videos. But I, I don't think you're looking at it like competition. I feel like you're just putting things out there. And I feel like because of that attitude, that is exactly why you're going to be successful. It's like, you know, there are a million examples of this, but it's like I'm sure, you know, if you watch any videos on being successful, it's like people always say that, you know, the people who try to do something for money, for example, if they are doing it for that reason, then and things never work out for them. But if they're doing something just because they love it, just because they want to do it, they always find success. I kind of get that feeling for you here where in multiple areas of your life, uh, not just money, but um, other areas of your life as well, I feel like you're, it's almost like you're just doing it for the joy of doing it. And I think that's going to lead to a lot of success. You have the Three of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Judgment card here. Again, teamwork, you know, these people are working on a team. It's also a card of quality work as well. Uh, I would I would definitely focus on the quality of your work with this Three of Pentacles. Because, uh, you know, I feel that quality is going to be very, very important for whatever reason. Uh, even me, I, I, I tried to do my videos today. I'm traveling right now and I tried to do my videos with a different microphone, but it just didn't sound right to me. And I was like, no, I can't, I can't do it with these, with this microphone. Cause you know, it's like quality matters to me. And uh, I kind of, that's popping into my head for you. That's why I'm saying it is because I feel like there, you know, are certain things that you work on where like the quality matters. It's like, granted, are, uh, is this the best quality? Uh, hell not. <laughs> not for me, anyway, right? But, uh, again, I'm having to kind of, like, work with what I got here. So, you know, it is what it is. But um, at the same time, again, I try to make it the best that I possibly can. And, again, I'm saying this because I feel like there is something in your life where it's like you want I, – I feel like you genuinely want to do the best that you possibly can. Uh, you do have the lovers. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It's popping into my head as a supportive element in your life. So, um, sorry, let me just, uh, speaking of quality, this microphone doesn't always want to just stay there. But uh, again, it's popping into my head as a supportive element. So for some of you, love could be a supportive element. It doesn't even have to be love as in like marriage or a person. It, well, it, it, it's a person for sure, but you know, it could be like a family member, uh, a child, something like that. I feel like there are supportive elements coming uh, from love, and that's really what I'm getting here on the lovers. I'm not getting like any of the traditional meanings. You also have the judgment card here. I'm getting like, wake up. Like those are literally the words that are popping into my head. So I definitely feel this is like a major, more of a wake up call side of things with the judgment card. I feel like the universe is trying to wake you up. Probably what I would say is uh, to this right here, the world card, because I feel like um, the world card is something uh, that you could be accomplishing. You know, it's something that you want to accomplish or you, you have a desire to accomplish. So I feel like the universe is trying to call you to that. I also feel the universe is trying to get you off of this right here. The This spiral card, it is a card of kind of like uh, being stuck in a, a, a cycle, being stuck on the hamster wheel, whatever you want to call it. So I do feel the universe is kind of like saying, it's time for you to get off the hamster wheel. We actually have another clue here, actually two. <laughs> you have the King of Pentacles, the hangman in the world. Uh, hangman to me is a card of that can kind of represent what are you waiting for energy. You can see that his head is glowing. 
he's hanging from the tree of knowledge and wisdom here on the card. But, you know, the thing about the hangman is that he has enlightenment. His head is glowing. So it's like he has everything he needs. And I really feel that for you, that you have everything you need to get started on something. Uh, King of Pentacles as well. King of Pentacles is you. And so you're showing up in a strong position here. My problem lately with the King of Pentacles, it's not always true, but again, I read intuitively, and this is what I'm getting intuitively. My problem with the King of Pentacles is that he can kind of like stick to what has always worked. There really isn't anything wrong with that. He is the card of convention, meaning you know the card of the way things have always been done. But you know what I would say here is that I feel like we're also in a very innovative time. So we need to open up to new ways of doing things, which we see right here. I feel like the world is a portal that's opening up for you that is going to get you off of the hamster wheel. So if, if you feel like you're stuck in Groundhog's Day, if you feel like every day is always the same, then this to me is a portal that is opening up for you here, the world card. And I feel like you need to step through it. For a lot of you, I feel like it's an opportunity, uh, for some of you, I should say, it's an opportunity that's coming in through like a friend, a family member, ten of cups, you know, someone that you know, someone in your community, three of pentacles could even be someone you work with. I would definitely say if it's coming from another person, it's coming from someone that you're close with. It doesn't matter. It could be friend, work, colleague, whatever. It looks like an opening to me. So again, someone might be coming to you and being like, hey, I have this opportunity at this other business or this other job, or I want to hire you, or have you ever thought about doing this? It's like, I feel like someone is coming to you with that type of opportunity. Definitely it could be financial for most of you. For some of you, I also feel like it could be love because you have the Knight of Cups right here. So the Knight of Cups is a knight in shining armor. And if you're looking for love, it could be someone who sweeps you off your feet. You have the Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, definitely soulmate vibes. And again, it doesn't matter gender. You're attracted to whatever gender. It doesn't matter. I feel like it's just someone who takes your breath away, right? So if you're looking for love, there you go. Uh, I kind of feel like seeing this person comes out of nowhere. You have the uh, Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Uh, pretty weird because at the beginning of the year, uh, when I was doing the yearly readings, uh, almost everyone had the Two of Cups. And I was saying that it could be a really good year for most people for love. But it's probably, you know, the love that we're going to be attracting is probably different than what we're used to. You know, Two of Cups is kind of like that love card and whatever that love deck is that I never remember the name of because I just don't care, right? <laughs> um, but it's like different than your usual type. You know, these two people are meant to look very different. They're meant to look like two totally different people. And, and so I feel you could be attracting someone who comes from a very different background, a different world, um, a different you know family upbringing, something like that, uh, if you are looking for love. You also have the Two of Pentacles. You know, it's like work hard, play hard. Um, a lot of people have had this energy as well. Again, I feel like because sometimes we, like, we get into these weird energies like the world is in right now, and we just want to bury our head in into something like work or business or a project, right? Just so we can have an escape. But I do feel like this is saying, try to balance those two things out. It's like, you might be working hard, but also you'll know, make sure you're spending time with people who are important to you or make sure you're having fun, make sure you're taking care of your health, like all those things. I really feel the Two of Pentacles is referring to balance in your reading. Uh, you also have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is like fortune after difficulty. Uh, also, happy home, happy family. Definitely, definitely, definitely could be a very solid relationship coming in for you if you're looking for love. Uh, for the rest of you, I just feel like it's... Um, actually, I should say for all of you, even if it is love, I feel that is talking about, again, fortune after difficulty. You know, a lot of like benefits coming in for you here, Taurus. So uh, let's see where this is going, Taurus, for you uh, at this time. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, you have the... Sorry, you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is about like setting yourself free. And again, I feel like you're setting yourself free from this spiral energy, from this hamster wheel that you've been on. And again, this could be coming through someone that you know, Three of Pentacles. Eight of Swords says you're a lot more free than you realize. So I feel like you need to keep that in mind. Uh, with the Lovers, you have the Moon card here. Uh, I kind of feel like you have a lot of thoughts around love. Here's the thing is that the lovers can represent a cross, being at a crossroads as well, having a choice to make. But it's like, maybe you're not really sure what is on the other side of the choice. You know, it's like if you're making a choice to change your life or change your business or, um, you know, opening up to this portal right here. It's like, you might not know what is on the other side, but it's probably gonna be success. With the judgment card, you have the chariot. Chariot's been showing up a lot this week as well. So there definitely is probably some sort of victory, sorry, uh, going on for you at this time, or there could be some sort of win. Now this could be through like a move or through moving. With the King of Pentacles, you have the Hermit. 
Uh, the Hermit says again that, you know, I get this feeling in this middle row that you're much more ready than you believe. Um, you have that hangman, which is kind of like a what are you waiting for type of energy. And so I do feel like you need to get moving. With the hangman, you have the Five of Pentacles, feeling like you don't have enough. <laughs> I feel like you have enough. Five of Pentacles is an illusion. Five of Pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. These people, this guy here, he has a bell around his neck. He represents like a leper back in the day. When we had lepers, they would wear bells around their neck so people would know when they were coming down the street. And, you know, the Five of Pentacles, it really represents needing to make sure not to call attention to your weaknesses. Right here, with that Five Pentacles, that represents a church and it represents a place of sanctuary. So I believe... <coughs> excuse me, that there's a place of like safety and sanctuary for you, but it's probably like this portal that is um, being opened up for you here, uh, Taurus. But uh, let's see, sorry, again, I'm traveling. I don't have like the best table here, obviously. So we're just gonna make it work. Uh, with the world, you have the King of Swords. King of Swords is part of an expert or a mentor. If you're having any challenges or difficulties that you're dealing with, a King of Swords is a really good card for getting help from other people or getting help from a person who maybe is like an expert. Uh, it could be any gender, it doesn't matter. Uh, so if you have any like legal issues or problems with your car, chariot right here, then going to like a mechanic or a lawyer would make perfect sense here. With the uh, Ten of Cups, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, being able to take care of yourself. Uh, it's also a card of gratitude and luxuries. So I feel like there's a lot of good stuff. Here's the thing, is that the Nine of Pentacles is about your focus. So whatever you focus on is what you're gonna get with those two cards coming up together. I would make sure to keep it positive here, Taurus. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Page of Swords. Mm, Page of Swords is very childlike energy. Uh, a lot of people have had it this week, and again, makes sense with the Two of Pentacles, which is kind of like work hard, play hard. So I definitely do more that you, more play in your life. I'd bring more play in your life. I would do things that you enjoy more here with this energy. And with the Two of Cups, you have the Wheel of Fortune. I, I definitely feel fortunes are kind of like uh, turning in your favor at this time with the Wheel of Fortune. There's definitely some sort of turnaround coming in for you. Six of Swords could be like an improvement. I just wanna pull a last row. I wanna get an outcome outcome for that Wheel of Fortune. So uh, let's see. It, it's kind of weird because you have that spiral card and that spiral card is like, I kind of get hamster wheel type of energy there. And the same thing with the um, Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is kind of like hamster wheel. Uh, let's see. You have the Five of Wands. You started with the Five of Wands. You have the Five of Wands here, conflict and competition. I would like encourage you. I'm not encouraging you to move towards conflict and competition. As I always say, I believe we're moving towards co-creation. So competition isn't going to work anymore. What I would say is I feel like you're entering into what could be considered a competitive environment. That does not mean that you have to be competitive. Again, I feel like you're doing something for the joy of it, whether it's getting into a relationship or being having a business, whatever it is, doesn't matter, starting a YouTube channel. But I feel like you need to enter into it. I feel like the fear could be the competition. I wouldn't even, you know, I wouldn't even think about it, right? Uh, middle row, you have the seven of cups. Get out of your head, for sure, in this reading. Seven of Cups is like being spoiled for choice. You And it's also a card of your imagination. I kind of look at the Seven of Cups personally as a good card, bad card. I, you know, to me, it's kind of positive. You're spoiled for choice. You have a lot of options. It can also be negative because you, you can have a lot of options. <laughs> so it's like there's a lot of different way, ways things can go. It can also say whatever you believe to be, be true is true. If you believe that there's a lot of competition, whatever you're doing, and that you're not going to be successful, you're not going to be successful. If you believe that you're just doing it for the fun of it, like if you're starting a business or YouTube channel, or if you're getting into a relationship and you're just going to see how it goes and you're just going to enjoy it, then you know it's probably going to work out for you. Bottom row, you have the Emperor. Uh, regardless, I feel like it's time to get started here, Taurus. Like whatever you're doing doesn't matter. I feel like it's time for you to get moving. Uh, with this energy because I feel there's like a lot of happiness coming in for you. And I also feel like you definitely don't want to miss out on this um, on this uh, 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 portal with the world that is opening up for you. I kind of feel like this is like faded here. And sorry, I'm going to pull another row because I let's um, dig into the portal as well. You have the Eight of Cups leaving, leaving the old world behind uh, with the Eight of Cups. It's like you're just walking away from things that no longer serve you, walking towards bigger and better things. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands card of conviction. And again, it's a card that says, whatever you believe to be true is true. And um, bottom row here, you have the Queen of Swords. Mm, turning your back on the past for sure. She's very focused on the future. I kind of feel like this is kind of like a faded 
event here, the world and the Wheel of Fortune. And it could be, it's clearly coming from a person with that King of Swords. Could be a dead person. You know, it could be someone in your dreams. You could have a very vivid dream about uh, something that you need to create or something you need to do or that you want to do. And I would pay attention to that because I feel like this, you know, this is a faded event that's happening for you that you need to pay attention for. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Uh, so love it. Uh, thank you for being here, Taurus. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.